Hey everybody, how are you doing? Hopefully you're doing well. Today, we are gonna be talking about this thing behind me. My name is Emilia from Digital Bike Computing and we're covering how to mount your monitor to a wall. You can see my beautiful, you can see my beautiful monitor right here behind me. This is a 34 inch widescreen curved um, monitor. Looks awesome. I used to have it on the monitor stand, then I had it mounted to my desk on a monitor arm. And then I thought, you know what? I want it to look even better. So I went and got myself a wall mount for a screen, even for a TV, the same sort of uh, mount. Got it onto my wall, mounted it in, and now the screen looks awesome. Nice and neat, cables are running behind the wall. And we're gonna go through briefly what I did to set this up. It was very, very easy to do and definitely recommend you to try it. Remember as always to subscribe to my channel, Digital Byte Computing, to be kept up to date with what's going on. Also clicking on that bell so that you are notified when new videos are released. So as you can see, I've got my monitor here mounted. It looks great, it looks neat and tidy. Cables running behind the wall, and we're gonna go through how I did that. From Amazon, bought myself a wall mount for a monitor slash TV. I made sure that the wall mount was able to sustain the weight of my screen. That's something that's gonna be very, very important. Understand the weight of your monitor so that you can then buy a wall mount that is going to be able to support your monitor itself. So what I've done is I've actually found my wooden stud that is running behind my wall to ensure that I don't have any problems with weight later on. You don't need to drill this into a stud, especially if you have a monitor that is fairly light. You can use particular brackets that will you know, click into the back of the wall and hold your monitor in place. But I recommend using, or uh, at least finding your, your stud so that it's ensured that it's, you know, it's drilled into a solid surface. So I found that stud, I've made sure that the monitor mount on the back connects into the back of my screen, and then I've drilled in my actual, uh, the first bit of my monitor wall mount into my stud and made sure that that was sturdy, make sure that it was level, and then we then attached the screen. So let's just go through a few little clips here of me actually setting this up, and then we can see the final product. So here is the wall mount that I used. Uh, very, very good quality. Uh, moves left and right, up and down, so I can tilt the head as I need to, and it's very, very easy to use. Of course, what I've done is I've drilled holes into the top, into the bottom, through my wooden stud uh, to make sure that it is nice and firm, and then attach the unit, leveling it off to make sure that it's not you know, tilted in a particular way. Uh, otherwise, my monitor could be tilted, and we don't want to do that. We then fasten the top and the bottom to make sure that it can support the full weight of my monitor. That's something you have to consider is obviously the weight has to be sufficient. On the back of my screen, I've attached the mount, uh, which is a specific mount with four screws to the back, removing the old monitor stand and then attaching the wall mount to the back of it. Now, of course, we want to make this look nice and neat. So we are going to be running cables from the top down to the bottom inserting the cables through a hole that we're going to drill ourselves. Uh, you can get somebody else to do this, but I, I did this myself very, very easy. Identify where you want the screw hole to be. Uh, ensure that you found that there's no stud or electrical wires behind it. Uh, use a stud finder, things like that. Once you've identified the spot, mark that off with your pencil to know where you're going to be drilling your hole. I've got a drill bit that makes nice round holes, very, very easy, and then that plaster just comes right out. I've also made a second hole on the bottom, which is underneath my desk, which is where the cables are gonna be coming out. And then obviously running into power, running into my computer, uh, that is underneath my desk there. Here are the two holes. Now you can use one of these yellow tongues to help you guide cables up and down. I, you can purchase this from most hardware stores. In my case, I didn't use this. I was able to get a cable through from the top to the bottom very, very easily. So I've just fed through my longest cable as my first guiding cable all the way down and then pulled it out from the bottom end very, very easily. And now with that one single cable, I can now pull all my other cables through quite easily. Identified all my other cables, grouped them together, 
And then what I've done is I've now then gaffer taped the other end to make it all nice and tight and then essentially pulling the other end of the cable down through the bottom. Now keep in mind this could be tight, so maybe you want to have a spare cable that you don't want to use in case you actually wreck the cable or damage the cable while you're doing that. Here is the end result. Cables come through from the top all the way through to the bottom. Of course we want to make this look neat, so we put a little wall plate with some uh, mesh there so that we can then screw that into the actual wall so that I don't, I'm not left with a gaping hole. Then the monitor is then placed in, plugged up, and here is the end product. The monitor looks great, very slick, and it's super, super easy to do. So there you have it. There is my monitor mounted to the wall, and then I've got the nice LED here behind it, so it looks really, really cool as well, because I like that sort of thing. But that's it. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, comment below, let me know your thoughts, like this video, subscribe, clicking on that bell to be kept up to date with all of my videos. I would really, really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.